We all know that one girl. She's pretty, she's smart and gets all A's, she smells good, her hair and makeup is always perfect, etc. I wanna be her so bad. Like she's literally perfect. She's that girl. And we're all wondering, how do we be her? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jenny and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to be that girl. Step one to becoming that girl is hygiene. Have some personal hygiene. I feel like that's really important if you wanna become that girl. Like, I feel like that girl is always clean, like she smells good, her breath is always nice. So hygiene is so important. So please guys, please wear your deodorant, shower, brush your teeth two times a day, floss, do your skincare. And it doesn't have to be all that complicated either. Like I know people on TikTok nowadays, there's people doing like 35, 10 step skincare routines. No, all you need is I would say like a cleanser and like a moisturizer. Um, also always keep your essentials with you in a bag when you go to school, like hygiene essentials. I always bring things like deodorant, chapstick, hair ties, touch of powder, perfume, and a comb mirror. Step two, organization. I personally use a planner. You will never catch me not using a planner. I feel like that girl has everything planned out to like the smallest detail. So I feel like that's why organization is really important. It helps you track things in your day and list out the important things you need to do. It helps me stay like really organized and on top of everything. It helps me remember like the actual important things, like the things I need to do. A good alternative for paper planners are digital planners like Notion. It helps you plan out your day effectively and you can make it all cute and aesthetic. Organizers really like keep you in check and brings you a step closer to being that girl. Step three, choose your outfits the night before. Literally, like this saves you so much time in the mornings. Like there have been so many times where I've almost been late to school because like I couldn't decide what to wear. Like please do this. It will save you so much time and energy in the morning. Step four, having a set schedule. I feel like having a schedule in general is very important. Like having a schedule for when you eat, from when you sleep, when you wake up. Like all of this is like extremely important in general to me. I feel like everyone should be having a schedule. You need to be like managing your time correctly so you're able to do all these things within your day. Like you're able to study and take a break and do, you know, activities and whatnot and still be able to get eight hours of sleep. Honestly, I struggle doing this, but I find when I'm able to do this that I am very productive and I feel very good and you know, I have like so many alarms and I feel like it's really important to have alarms. Like I have like five different alarms telling me to wake up every single day. Like it's literally insane, but it helps. So I'm not mad. I recommend waking up at least 45 minutes before school starts because I feel like that gives you time to like get ready. I like taking my time when I get ready. If this isn't for you, it's not for you. But personally, I like to take time doing my skincare, doing my makeup, eating, etc. I also like to set timers for when I'm doing my homework or for when I'm studying. I like to set a timer usually for like 45 minutes to an hour. And then after that hour, I usually take a break. And I feel like that just really helps me like get things done and like to pace myself. Step five is study. I know this sounds very basic and almost any video you find on YouTube on becoming that girl, they always include study. But to me, studying is very important because in order to be that girl, you need to get good grades and to get good grades, you need to study. Personally, I am a straight A student. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but you know, getting good grades is very important and to get good grades is to study. I know it might not always be easy, but I use apps like Knowit, Quizlet, flashcards, reading, revision, summaries. Apps like Quizlet literally make studying so much easier and like more effective and I recommend that you use it if you want to get good grades. Step six, participate in school activities. Most schools offer things like clubs or sports, and I feel like it's very important to socialize and to join those clubs because, you know, school is not just about studying and getting grades. It's also about, you know, having fun. And I feel like a fun way to get to know people and to have fun is by joining clubs and sports. 
I feel like clubs and sports are like a good way to socialize and get to know your classmates. And who knows, you can build like genuine friendships that you thought you would have never formed before. That's it for this video. I hope you guys found my tips to be useful and that will bring you a step closer to becoming that girl in school. Thank you guys. See you next time.